गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन नाउ इन दिस सेशन आई विल एक्सप्लेन लीनियर पैर ऑफ एंगल्स वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लाइन्स सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर रेडी लेट एस बिगिन स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन लीनियर पैर ऑफ एंगल्स वॉट इज अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ इट a linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles whose non common sides are opposite rays and the angles are supplementary now children let us understand this in the given figure angle boc and angle C O A are linear pair of angles. Clear, children? Now over here, which is a common side? Which is a common ray? Yes, correct. Ray O C is a common ray, which is known as common arm also. Now, and which are the two opposite rays? Correct. They are ray O B and ray O A. now children look at here angles which form a linear pair are always supplement of each other children please pay your attention and the sum of measures of linear pair of angles is 180 degree understood children are you getting and now the most important is keep it in mind that angles forming a linear pair are always adjacent angles but a pair of adjacent angles may not necessarily form a linear pair of angles children did you get this i hope you have understood it now students we will learn vertically opposite angles what does the definition say when two lines intersect each other at a point four angles are formed the pairs of angles that lie opposite to each other are called vertically opposite angles now here children you can see that two lines l and m are intersecting each other at point o and four angles are formed they are intersecting each other at point o that point is known as point of intersection so which is a point of intersection of line l and line m yes correct it is point o and four angles are formed 1 2 3 and 4 over here you can see that angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angles and angle 2 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angles that is why angle 1 and angle 3 are equal in measure as they are vertically opposite angles and the measures of vertically opposite angles are always equal and same way angle 2 and angle 4 are also equal in measure because they form a pair of vertically opposite angles understood children clear students now we will solve one or two examples from exercise 5.1 so first we will take sum number 
now here one figure has been given and it's a angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles and what is the question yes if angle 1 is decreased what changes should take place in angle 2 so that both the angles still remain supplementary now first of all children i will tell you the angles are supplementary means the sum of measure of their angles is correct it is 180 degree now children if angle 1 is decreased then angle 2 should be increased by the same measure so that both the angles still remain supplementary now how it is just for example if measure angle 1 is decreased by 10 degree then we should increase the measure of angle 2 by 10 degree then only the addition the sum of this both the angles will remain same and it is 180 so if angle 1 is decreased by the same measure we have to increase the measure of angle 2 then only both the angles remain supplementary clear children students now we will solve sum number 12 of exercise 5.1 find the values of the angles marked by xyz in the given figure now students here to find the values of the angles marked by xyz we should know the relationship between the angles now here you can see that angle y and 40 degree are linear pair of angles and students tell me what is the sum of measures of linear pairs of angles now it is 180 correct so here measure angle y is equal to 180 degree minus 40 degree is equal to 140 degree clear children understood now measure angle z we have to find the measure of angle z it is a vertically opposite angle with 40 degree and you know that vertically opposite angles are equal in measure so again measure angle z is equal to 40 degree and the last one is measure angle x we have to find the value of angle x now here you can see that 40 degree angle x and 25 degree angle are on a straight line have you seen this children yes and you know that the straight angle what is the measurement of straight angle correct it is 180 degree so angle x plus 40 degree plus 25 degree is equal to 180 degree and that is why measure angle x is equal to 180 minus 65 degree gives us 115 degree so measure angle x is equal to 115 degree understood children clear students now i will explain different types of lines the first one is intersecting lines lines are said to be intersecting lines if they have a common point children here you can see the two lines l and m are intersecting each other at point o this point o is known as point of intersection 
understood children clear so common point is called the point of intersection come on children all of you draw the figure as shown over here line l correct draw line m and name the point of intersection as o all of you have drawn the figure clear fine students the next one is transversal a line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points is called a transversal here in the figure you can see that line l and line m there are these two are different lines and line a t is intersecting line l at point p and line m at point o so children t is a transversal why because t is intersecting line l and m at two distinct points understood children come on all of you draw the figure also yes draw line l draw line m draw the transversal line t as shown in the figure name the point of intersection of t and l as p and name the point of intersection of t and line m as o all of you have drawn the line clear children okay students now i will explain parallel lines two lines are said to be parallel if they do not intersect each other at any point here children you can see in the figure line l and line m are example of parallel lines the distance between the parallel lines will always remain the same now students see symbolically it is written as l parallel to m that is two vertical lines are drawn in between the names of the lines understood children clear so it has been mentioned like l parallel to m by drawing two vertical lines in between l and m students all of you come on draw the same figure it is very simple to draw the figure is it or not now students here i will sum up the session in the next session i will explain the three very important concepts of this chapter so all of you have a nice time enjoy the day and thank you so much